welcome back to another episode of Discover Cars. Today we are checking out the 718 Boxster from Porsche. This has been somewhat of a controversial car thanks to the four cylinder engine instead of the flat six, but I'm here to tell you why this is still a real Porsche, if not more of a appropriate car for the Boxster and the 718 name. Now let's talk about the engine. That's where we're starting off with this. There's a reason why this is still a real Porsche and I'd love to show you what the engine looks like, except it's all covered up in the middle. So the reason why I think this is more of a Porsche in terms of the using the 718 name is because the original 718 back in the 50s used a flat four as well. Now the argument goes, yes, it's 500 kilos and yes, it was naturally aspirated instead of chucking a turbocharger on there. However, times have changed, cars are heavier and safer and also the power's definitely a bit more up than what they used back in the 50s. To be honest, it's good to do a throwback like this. I mean, not everything from early 20th century German has to be that bad, does it? Now that flat four definitely has been improved for the 21st century. We're looking at 300 horsepower and 265 kilowatts just for that robot sling that we use here in Australia and 5.9 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. That's really decent for a turbocharged flat four at a base model range. Also this sports exhaust on the back does sound very flavorful. lots of pops and bangs and makes it feel more alive. And that's the thing with the flat four, Porsche really made sure that they're not losing that character with the engine by removing two cylinders because that flat six sounded marvelous when you started to rev it out. But this flat four has plenty of kick. It makes it actually feel like there's an engine present rather than waiting at the top of the rev range for it to come alive. You can't deny it is a good looking car. Some specs with the smaller wheels don't look quite as complimentary as these wheels and this GT silver paint. But I mean, come on, it is quintessential sports car. Like you have this massive air intake down here and the body sort of sculpts the air down and it looks like in the wind tunnel this has just pushed the metal in to allow for maximum airflow to the mid-mounted engine. You've also got a nice sharp front end with these awesome haunches that you can see when you're sitting inside the car and the rear end just looks nice and finished. It also has a pop-up spoiler which neatly integrates with the uh, rear deck lid so it really does look sleek and slender without looking too narrow or too same same on the front and back. The design of this car is a bit of a throwback to the original. I mean it's it's been evolutionary with the Boxer, but again, the 718, you type up one from the 50s and it will look similar, give or take a couple of years. Since this is mid-engine, it has space for a rear boot as well as a front boot. And this front boot isn't sealed down. Um, <laughs> Alfa Romeo, uh, but this front allows for you to put plenty of space for groceries, bags. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting people in there, but it is an opportunity because it is that big. Still plenty of space back here, and it does make for a car that you can take away at weekends. I know making a convincing case for people showing this to their partners. It's quite accessible for a sports car to get in here. It's not nearly as aggressive or low as some other sports car that Porsches make. The seats are very comfortable. The interior is a nice place to be. I love the fact that they always throw back to like the Carrera G and the other sports cars that Porsche developed in the early days where the actual dash meets the center console so it's rather a sweeping thing rather than just ending and hanging off like early Ferraris did. Great place to be, big rev count in the middle, typical Porsche inside, nothing extremely special or different about this car. I've got the roof down because who wouldn't in a convertible? It's like when you pop like a can of coke over and you get that like noise that just sort of opens up and makes you feel sort of relieved and happy. That's the same way your stress just goes out the roof. And the cool thing with this 718 is the engine. Now, people don't like the engine. I've seen Chris Harris, not, you know, plenty of people and professionals who have plenty to say on a four cylinder engine from Porsche. But in my opinion, it is the better car and the better engine to put it in because the 718, like I said, back in the 50s was originally a sports car, like four cylinder sports car, that's what it was, a four cylinder sports car that, you know, was super light, mid engine, good for racing. Now this is definitely a bit heavier, but it does have the power to support it. It actually feels like something's here. I've driven that six cylinder Cayman and a six cylinder Boxer, and it just doesn't feel like something's there until you start to really ring it out. But when you look at that digital speedo, and trust me, I know, you can, the speed can go up really quick and almost too quickly for you to comprehend. And when the rev range starts kicking out and you get that beautiful sound, but it's only really good for back road driving and track days. Now, the four cylinder is really the key part of the car. It feels like 
you know the kid who was like seemed like he was hopped up on Adderall or had ADHD in your class that's what this is like when you start to get it going it's really peppy really talky I hate that word peppy but it is a good way to describe it because it's just ready to go whenever you want it's not like that athlete who does long distance marathons and sprints at the end that is like the Porsche flat six plenty of people love that but in a real world setting when cities are getting more crowded and there's more and more traffic and you've got to be ducking and waving between cars especially being in a car this low uh, because you do realize that some people's mirrors actually are above the roof line so they don't necessarily see you when you're next to them so it's important to have that sort of speed to get out of situations like that and that's when the 7184 cylinder really comes into play I wouldn't recommend getting this car without the uh, sports exhaust system because it sounds mean. <laughs> uh, it gives you plenty of pops and cracks and you've got so much power from that turbo kicking in. PDK is definitely the pick for the turbocharged cars that Porsche are putting out now. I love turbocharged four-cylinder you know, can, um, manuals but it's just waiting for that boost to come back on. It's a bit annoying to wait for that. Where in a, you know, a Porsche or something similar, you're going to have the PDK do all the thinking for you and you're gonna have plenty of go with the engine. <laughs> I love this car so much. It's so fun because the four cylinder sounds alive. I know it does sound similar to some other engines that are out there, but it sounds a bit in between an Audi R8 V8 and a, uh, Subaru WRX at some times. I know that is such a sacrilegious thing to say, but you can't get away from that at some points of the rev range. Inside, it's super comfortable. I don't feel like I'm stressing anything. There's no hard bucket seats. It's a very comfortable place to be and a very manageable sports car. If you've never driven a sports car, this is the car I would suggest, but man, that sports exhaust is such a must in this car. It's just ready to go and it's just so interactive, but you can make it settle. It does have automatic start stop when you set a traffic lights. It is quite a manageable car, but man, if you want to get this car going, it will go. It will actually go. And trust me, 4.9 seconds on paper doesn't seem that quick, but you've never experienced 4.9 seconds if you disagree with that because <laughs> It is a quick car. It has my pick for a fun sports car for about 100, 120 around there. It's just that mid-engine layout. You feel planted the whole way through. You don't feel like the back's gonna kick out when you put the power down. You don't feel like the front is pulling forwards. And that exhaust is just popping and banging. I just love it. <laughs> it sounds really good. And it doesn't sound droning either. It sounds really, really, I guess, authentic. <laughs> um, and it makes you think of those cars back in the 50s when you're racing. But anyway, I'm pulling up. Let's go have a chat about the Discover Car score, see how I rank it, and we'll check it out. Now, after all that, that leaves me to give a Discover Car score for the 718 Boxster. Now, starting off with practicality, it easily gets a five out of 10. Easily is because it's a two-seater sports car, and let's face it, there are plenty of other cars if you want to take bits and pieces with you, are just gonna fit a bit more. So a five out of 10 for practicality for the 718. Now, moving on to the daily category. This gets a seven out of 10. That is because of the turbocharged engine, and yes, the key word is turbocharged. A naturally aspirated engine in Porsche is a need a bit more rev to them, need a bit more grunt, hence why you might be raising speed limits if you really want to push the car, where a turbocharged engine like this will go off the lights, respond quickly, hence why it gets a daily score of 7 out of 10 compared to its six-cylinder brethren. Now performance is a solid 8 out of 10. It's a mid-engine car. This will lap rings around the 911 if you stepped in a base 911 and a base 718 and you haven't had any experience with them before, you will do a faster lap time in the 718 just because of the mid-engine layout. But that leads me on to the final score of Cool Factor and Cool Factor is a 7 out of 10 for this one. The fact that it's a base model and the fact that it does have the four cylinder just doesn't quite sing as well as the six cylinder at the top of the rev range, that gives it a 7 out of 10. Only really the, uh, the Boxster S and the GT4 would be scoring higher because they are a bit more exciting. That gives it a total score of a solid 7 out of 10 for Discover Car score. This mid-engine car is definitely one to be reckoned with and it definitely plays right homage to early Porsches with the four cylinder engine and I definitely think it's the right step in the direction for the Boxster range. If you guys really like this video, subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to press that like button. And yes, I'm wearing my shorts. On that note, I just want to say a huge thank you to the Porsche Center Canberra. This car is currently for sale at the Porsche Center Canberra, but just located in Fishwick. And as always, guys, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you next time. This has been Discover Cars and this is the 718 Boxster. Thanks for checking it out.